This week on the Album of the Week, we are finishing up the Rev Festival finale. And is it Rev or Reve? Like Red Velvet? <laughs> Let me know. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon, and we're here again today for another Album of the Week. Yeah, today, like I said, we're going over the rest of Red Velvet's album, repackaged album from 2019, December 2019, so kind of 2020. But I'm excited. We listened to the first eight songs last week, and we have eight more songs to go over this week. It was giving fun vibe, and it seems like people really enjoyed me getting into some Red Velvet here on the channel, which is very exciting. I love when y'all are excited, because it makes me excited too. So we have eight more songs to go over today. I hope that you are ready. We are going to be starting with a song called Oompa Oompa. And is it like doopity? do we'll see <laughs> this is red velvet oompa oompa and we have a music video that makes me excited we have a couple music videos this side of the album so let's go Ooh. 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 okay it's given like barbie Not waiting on the turtle. The turla. Well, this is definitely not where I thought the song was going. Once again, Teen Beach movie uh, realness in the visuals. But you better sing it though. What does Oompa Oompa mean? Apparently it's something unforgettable. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, hi, scream, cake. Ah. I love their little like picnic table outfits here. It's given Barbie movie before the Barbie movie too. It's kind of catchy though. Ba, um, ba. Why do they keep doing like this too? Um, ba, um, ba. <laughs> this part. Ah. Girl, that cloud is close as hell. You need to back up, ma'am. And don't sit next to the metal. Hello. Cute boots, though. Oompa, 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 oompa. Don't touch the metal, silly. Oompa, 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 oompa. Oompa, 
Okay, that was Oompa Oompa. First off, let me say it, it is not what I was expecting it to sound like, but I have learned in the process of last week's video that Red Velvet's song titles are not going to exactly match what you're going to get in the song. At first, I was like, okay, all right, Oompa Oompa, but I can't lie. At the end, the catchiness of Oompa Oompa caught me. Oompa Oompa. And like the little voice is like, Oompa Oompa, let the beat dry. <sighs> Oompa Oompa. <laughs> Something about was giving quintessential girl group, girly pop, pop, bubble, pop, classic you know, and I'm here for it. Giving, like I said, very much Barbie before Barbie was Barbie, but Barbie was Barbie, but Barbie wasn't Barbie yet, if you know what I mean. Okay. Um, <laughs> what? Well, good job, Red Velvet. That was Oompa Oompa. The next one we're going over today is one called LP, like the limited play. That's cute. Like LP, like you get a limited play in my heart. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. A little elevator music. A little bossa nova. Why do you have four hearts? I'm here for these drums, though. These hi hat snare moments. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. See, this is creepy as fuck. <laughs> I'm over you. It's like taking the elevator music and turning it a little bit more hip hop in a good way. Like, oh. You know, it's giving me very much oldie but newie at the same time. I don't like the on my tiptoes, I'm hovering over you. Better get it. Oh, I kind of love this like saxophone overlay of this beat. The only thing I could have asked for from that, if they would have had like a hard rap verse come in, I feel like that would have been just the little cherry on top, but that was fun. Give it a little bossa nova mixed with some hi-hat snare realness, and then it may just want to do like a little like old-timey dance, but then also like drop it low at the same time. Mm. I mean, that little um, chorus uh, breakdown bridge thing, I like that a lot. That was probably my favorite part of that song. So congrats, girl, LP. I don't know what, what that was about. <laughs> oh, damn. I, I didn't... Um, 
I didn't pay attention to that. But good song sonically. And that's what it matters. Sonic the Hedgehog, as long as it sounds gut, we're good. I'll also have to give a little preface right now. I am actually sick this week. So I apologize if I seemed a little tame, a little bit quieter. I think that I'm breaking a fever right now because I can feel it sweating out of my body. But you know what don't stop me? Nothing's gonna stop me from coming at you with some videos. So make sure you subscribe down below. Okay, please. I do it for y'all. Okay, the next one we're going over today is one called Parade. Let's go. Let's give it MGMT type beat here. Okay, bass. I like this one. Yeah, I like this one a lot. My favorite so far of the day, I think. It's the bass for me. It's just the production elements of it, the way they're mixing it up. Oh, I like it. Those little elements of production just make it stand out so much. And this, like, whole, like... Right there, it feels like a, a college football game song. You know what I mean, though, but in a good way. Anthemic. Such a hot parade this summer. Okay, Parade. I definitely think that was my favorite on the album so far. And it was just like the way the elements, the mixing, the way that the, the beat would just drop out, you know, have the, all these little star key moments in the beat itself made it so good. And then I did have um, a question about why it was done in the summer. Oh my gosh. And I'm going back to the comments because I think somebody um, messaged me, but somebody literally just said, I'm sorry, but your face is so memorable. No, no, <laughs> it didn't say that. I'm sorry, but your face is so memeable. Never thought I would be laughing by remembering forever song and seeing your reaction um okay <laughs> thanks best friend lovey <laughs> memeable here um but i want to get back to the comment i'm looking for oh my gosh windy happiness i found my new favorite reactor and channel stop windy happiness okay so this is za za5532 so it's a summer album released in december because it was a repackaged album basically it's three mini albums in one and the older songs are listed in the opposite order so the new songs here were psycho in and out and remember forever ice locked hands locked was the last song on the rev festival 
Day 2 album, and Carpool was the second. So next you have Oompa Oompa, which was the title track for the album, and then you'll get to the first album in the trilogy. Honestly, it's a bit confusing for the first time listener. As an album, it's not the most cohesive, but I'm so glad you finally gave them a go. Oh, and Irene is the main rapper, by the way. Yes. Okay. So thank you, Za. I was wondering, we are so summer themed, and this is forward to drop in December. It was a little, um, confusing for me, but I didn't, I didn't really question it. Maybe I did. I need to go back and run the tape, but overall it is definitely giving summer vibes and I am enjoying it so far. I think, yeah, definitely Parade is my favorite, but we have a lot of like onomatopoetic, that's not how you say it, moments, but like Oompa Oompa. And next up we have Bing Bing. Bing Bing Bam Bam. Do you remember that song? Okay. This is Bing Bing. All night long? What do you mean blinding? Because he can't afford the real ring? Leave him, honey. Let him go. Talking about symbolic rings in my heart. Mm -mm. Oh, oh. It looks like she's going for him. So she can play the symbolic rings in her heart and be happy with it. I like that little moment there too. She said you're a disease, babe. But she still loves you. Well, you must got something going on. She gonna call you disease in one second. And then say, oh. Hey. It kind of feels a little aggressive. Don't fucking punch hard. <laughs> you know? Do you want him or is he a disease that's broke? I want you to look at me, so we know the answer now. Wendy, you are too good for him. Stop it. He don't deserve a voice like that. Oh, we're not friends, bitch. We're not friends, bitch. Oh, 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 oh. I need that as a ringtone. We're not friends, bitch. Not friends, bitch. Uh, uh, uh. The ending part right there, I ain't gonna lie. That was fucking hard as shit. She said, we're not friends. We're not friends, friends, friends. We're not friends. We're not friends. But I'm still a little confused if you love them and you want them. Because he's like, oh, I got rings, but they're only in my heart. I opened up the dictionary and I saw a disease with your picture next to it. Why are you playing so hard to get? <laughs> I get it. Sometimes we get a little digmatized and we need to stay focused, everyone, okay? The shining in his eyes that you were talking about, that was dollar signs. He's coming for your money and your success and you should not let no man take you down. You tell them, bing, bing, bam, 
in their face. Okay, how about that? I have no idea if that's what this song was about. <laughs> and it kind of got me a little fired up. I don't know why. I'm like getting really defensive of Red Velvet here. I'm like, y'all do not deserve that type of treatment. That beat was so hard and you had to like waste it on a man being toxic. If that even was the case, were you the toxic one the whole time? Mmm. Plot twist. <laughs> Plot twist. It's okay though. It's fine. Sometimes we have our moments of questionability. We all been there, girls. The next song we're going over today is one called Milkshake. And there's a special video, um, an interview volume five with Revelof. Revel 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 Did I say this was called Milkshake? Okay. It's kind of like lower tones here. Okay. I don't think there's any lyrics. No, sorry. I like her voice. It's a little hypnotizing. Why the bananas? Oh, that's that game I've seen them play before. We had to match. Or whatever. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna maybe pull a little Kim out here. Why do I love that? That's like an infectious way of s rapping, singing right there. It was like, um, hypnotizing, brainwashing. But same. <laughs> Tell me, tell me all about it. I thought I said Delulu. No, that's the one I was trying to read earlier. Rev, Rev of Love. I like it like that. Hey, hey. Can I, can I be featured? I can do the bum 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 Y'all made a mess of this damn house. I go run some errands and I come back in here. And y'all done tore my house up. Girls, what do you got to say for yourselves? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's have fun. Can I have a sip? <laughs> but y'all didn't have to unpeel all my bananas. <laughs> That's one thing I am a little upset about. Okay. All right. That was Milkshake, the special video. I thought that was a fun song too. I like, it kind of gave a little bit of a Megan Trainer vibe with it. With the boom, 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 boom. <laughs> kind of moment. And I don't really know what the lyrics were about in that one. So I'm just assuming they were like, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yacht. You know? Um, that's what I was uh, assuming. But I don't know if that's true. Somebody explain to me down below what Milkshake is about. But I did enjoy it. So good job, girl. So the next one we're going over today is one called Sunny Side Up. It's a lot of food. A lot of food. Milkshake, sunny side up. That's the only food. Not a lot of food. I like my scramble, to be honest with you, but... 
if you go make a song about it, then I'll, I'll try to sunny side up. You don't have to admit all that. You need to go to a doctor. This just makes you want a body roll. I'm in a little bit of pain right now, so it's... You've become my son. And he's burning your heart alive? It really is hard to do that, yeah. I like how we kind of slowed this one down a little bit. It gave it one of those vibes. Like you get a little stink face. Oh my god! Keep that old ass man away from her! She said, You're hot, but I'm a child. Oh, no, that's your father, not your son. Get them out of there. Somebody save Red Velvet. Thank you. Game over. Single. I like scrambled and she she called that out. You break down these girls' hearts. I just spit. Oh my gosh. I'm getting too angry. Sound like spitting everywhere. I need to stop. I'm, oh. Sun is at. Okay, so what, what was that really about? <laughs> I don't know if I really got the whole the whole um, idea of it. Because I know that these lyric translations are never really the best, the best. But talking about, uh, yeah, you're hot, but I'm still a child. I think what they mean was like, I'm still innocent. I haven't bloomed. I haven't blossomed. I haven't like experienced real adult life yet. But stay the fuck away from them. Okay? It's your little carton dozen of eggs. If you show up one more time with a motherfucking dozen eggs at their doorstep, they're really calling security. I can't handle that. Demanding sunny side up. Bitch, scrambled is just as fine. Are we mad? Was the song a little angry? Were we supposed to be? Or did this unnecessarily hype me up? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Oh, uh, thank you so much. But overall, I kind of liked it. I was like a like, dun 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 Like a little mm, chill vibe. Body roll. Body roll. Yes. Good job. The next one we're going over today is Zim Zalabim. I just love the ones like this that sound like a whole ass spell that I'm casting and I, maybe I'm cursing a, a family from the future. I don't know. Zim Zalabim. And we got a video. Let's go, girls. It is good to know that we're like kind of kind of getting through all of the little EPs all together, though. That makes me feel happy that we're, we're making a little way into their discography. And then the white van. For real. Oh, okay. I think I might be. Simsalabim. <laughs> okay.
Let's go. This is a certified banger. I can already feel it. I like this. This is so different, and this is what I look for in music. Throw me off. I don't want to know what's coming next. Oh, oh. And this video is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Zimzalabim! Is that good? Ooh, I feel like I'm getting transported! Okay, cardio, cardio, woo, woo! I did not expect this, and I love it because of that. Are they? I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here. Is that a Cheeto? Makes me want to throw it back a little bit. Stop. Hey. Sorry, I turned y'all up too much. Okay, Zimzala Bim to y'all too. All right, that was Zimzala Bim. Definitely my favorite from this part of the album review by far. If you ever watch my channel, if you're new here, one thing that we search for is just subverting expectations. I wanna hear a song and like a song I've ever heard before. You know, I know that's not gonna be the case all the time, but I just love experimentation. It's the reason that Timbaland is one of my favorite producers of all time. Just the way he just like, you don't know where he's going next. And that's exactly what we got here. And it's always the the damn songs that sound like I'm about to curse my family when I say the title. Zim Zalabim. That one's it. That one is it. I want to feel the engine running through me and that song made that happen. Even from the little like drum moment in the very beginning build up. Who does that? Who does that? Red Velvet baby. Apparently. <laughs> Zim Zalabim. Um, Zim Zalabim. Sorry I said it. I said it wrong. Oh I accidentally cursed the neighbors instead. <laughs> oh my bad. All right everybody we have one more song left here on this album and it's called La Rouge. The Red. I know that. Like the Red Queen. Oh, are y'all about to get royal and regal? Here we go. Okay, given that country realness, serving country. This, they singing. They singing. You can feel that from here. Damn. Damn. Oh, see a little change up. Ooh. It is a spell. Oh, Wendy, when? When, when? That was a. Can, can we listen to that one more time? Sorry. Girl, you ran that. You ran that. Straight to the bank, huh? Hey! Ooh. 
What is it called? And they go like da da da. What kind of singing is that called? I love it. Joy. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. It's like they was getting paid today to make them runs, damn. They put some in the water for this song. I'm gonna be practicing that run all day. <laughs> I can't sing, by the way, if you're new to the channel. It's a running gag. Okay, that was La Rouge. Once again, I actually really love how they ended that um, album up there. Usually we have a little bit of a sad, sappy song being like, I love you, just remember I love you, blah, 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 blah. you know, and I like how they subvert that expectation. They said, not only are we gonna have this little a sexy coded type of, and we're bringing the Christina out, babe. The Aguilera has entered the room. Yeah. <laughs> but what, what is the type of singing that Christina Aguilera is like? <laughs> like that, is that a name for it? I need to be smarter. Okay, but good job. I really like the way y'all ended that out. And that was a special track too. So technically Zim Zalabim was the last, I guess, song. But that was a special one. Okay, that was the Rev Festival finale. We did it, y'all. We finished all 16 songs. And I did enjoy that. Today, we started off with Oompa. Oompa, which really is, is not what I was expecting at all. It was good, though. LP as well. We started getting a little dicey, though. Parade came in. I'm like, yeah, I'm put that on parade. Bing, bing, bam, bop. Maybe mad. I don't know if I should have been there. Let me know. Milkshake was a little fun special video we got. Sunny Side Up was a little confusing for me, but La Rouge was a great way to end it, but now, but. Zimzala Bim, my favorite. By far, from this side of the album here, I think that it just brought a sense of unexpectedness and uh, not knowing what was coming next. Elements and music that you don't normally hear together brought them together seamlessly and executed perfectly. Good job, Girls of Red Velvet. What's your favorite song from this side of the album? I guess it's all one album. What I'm trying to say is part two of my video. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. Make sure you click like and subscribe. And remember, we're coming back next week for a whole nother album of the week. So we'll see you on the flip side. But until then, remember, I love you. Bye. <laughs> I'd love to know them by name. So.